How's it going guys? My name is Lombarrel and welcome to a brand new episode of Vacation Police. Now before I begin, I just want to remind you guys that I will be doing a subscriber stream tomorrow on twitch.tv slash Lombarrel. If you guys want to go follow me on there, I will also be posting an update on the channel, on Twitter, and of course on my Steam group. I will be streaming at around 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, so if you guys want to convert that to your own time zones, then you guys should go ahead and do that. I will be giving away, of course, the Flip Knife Fade Factory New at the end of my stream, so I really recommend recommend you guys sticking around for the entire stream if you guys want to be part of the giveaway. I don't know how long I'll be streaming yet, but I'm hoping to do at least four to six hours of streaming, depending on how tired I get or how tired you guys get of me. So, but yeah, just make sure you mark that in your calendars. Wednesday, December 21st, I will be doing a subscriber stream at around 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So let's get on with the case and move on. All right, so already we have an, a person, uh, and actually the original Dust, if I... Yeah, original does. As you can clearly see, he is spin botting. So this is actually... Oh, he's actually bunny hopping as well. So that's kind of interesting. He's backwards bunny hopping, guys. This is pretty interesting to me. Oh, and Vile looks like he's also hacking. So this looks like a hacker's lobby. They are most likely boosting a couple of dudes. Um, as you can clearly see, Violet and the suspect, they are currently 20 and 2. Vulture, Emu, and Rattle, they're all bunch of shitters they're just getting carried by these guys so this may be or may not be a, a boosting service um but this guy has a very glitchy spin bot which makes absolutely no sense what is this like the second time we've seen a spin botter as soon as we started up our overwatch and this is just starting not to look good for a counter-strike matchmaking as a whole wow this guy's throwing some nutty nades though i gotta give it to him because that's uh wow Reactions of a god. I mean, there's nothing else to see here, really. I mean, this guy has 214 ADR, 95% headshots. There's 20 rounds left, and it's already 10-0. They're going to win 16-0 no matter what. I mean, it looks like Vulture is also hacking, so he just got two kills. But we know Violet and Suspect are hacking for sure. So I'm just going to skip through this and convict them as hackers and get on with a different case. All right, so obviously, Evident Beyond a Reasonable Doubt for Aim Assistance. Evident Beyond a Reasonable Doubt for Vision Assistance. Other external assistance, I mean, he's spin botting at the same time. He's also speed hacking, technically. He's like he got the bunny hop scripts, you know. Um, as for griefing... I mean, I can't really say that this guy was griefing. I'm still going to go with insufficient evidence for griefing, and then uh, I'll hop on to a different case for you guys. All right, perfect. So we're starting off on the pistol round. Brand new start for the suspect to see what he can do in this game of Dust 2. Hey, that kind of rhymes. Checking his angles very carefully. Taking the battle against Flute. Gets a nice lucky headshot. Very nice there with the Glock at long range. Um, let's see if he knows Seal's coming. Reacts to Steel, gets tagged down to 44 HP. He actually didn't buy any armor whatsoever. Uh, maybe he's trying to go for the MAC-10 strat, where you go out long, get a kill, go back to T-spawn. But because of the buy timer, it doesn't really work anymore. You can't really do that unless you get a, a pick mid with like a Deagle or something. Nice, takes out Puffin, doing very well so far for his team. He's keeping the... Ooh, wow, what a shot. That was a nice shot. That was a one-tap. Let's see, here's Seal, I wonder. The, clearly doesn't. Here's him now. Jumps up. Well, the Seal jumps up and he takes him out with the picked up Deagle. 4K from the suspect. Very nice shooting from him. Uh, that was honestly one of the most skillful pistol rounds I've ever seen from my Overwatch. Alright, so he decided not to invest in any weaponry this game. Or this round, I should say. Just decided to buy up a Deagle. Kills Puffin. Very easy kills. Takes him out two times. Misses on seal. These are all reaction shots. I feel like there's nothing really suspy about all of these species taken. I'm pretty sure he's just making the CTs peak him, um, which is obviously a good thing. All right, so he decided to stick with the deagle once more. That was suspy. Not gonna lie, that was 100% suspy. The way he just strafed out and got the kill, and uh, flute ended up going down as well two kills two really nice kills actually coming out from the suspect the first one was super suspy but because of the tick rate on these go tv servers you don't know 100 percent if he was able to react to that fast enough or that was just pure luck or well what's going on here so he keeps on always going to tunnels takes out puffin i'm not really sure how that looked like but he's holding a really weird angle 
Thought it was a flash. Gets it to 30 HP. That's a hefty nade. Tries to take out Seal. The way he's playing, it's very weird how he's holding the angle. Especially, like, why is he looking up onto the air? He's just trying to take battles that he's not really supposed to, and he's making them work. Trying to see how he's going to react to three counter terrors that they put up on the B bomb site. Baits hatch a little bit and <laughs> backs off, waiting for any pushes, but it doesn't look like they're actually going to push this time. He just pulled a flush of there, boys. He highlighted him with his crosshair and then kills Flute. So to be fair, that round, he knew there was three players on B just because of whoever ran in first at the start of the round. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you guys see that? I'm going to replay it for you guys in just a second. Now, he's starting to roll and he's starting to show us a lot more traits of being a hacker. He followed the guy through the wall into window and that really shows us that this guy may not be fully legit. Wow, even tags him out as soon as he comes out of that corner. Alright, let's see, this might be something promising. Pre-fires him. Uh, at this point, I'm starting to become a lot more convinced that this guy is cheating. He's at, at least he's got the wall hacks. But, I mean, let's just finish out to the very end and see how this works. Well, I mean, not, not an easy shot to hit. Not an easy shot to hit at all. And uh, still walking, even though his sheep is already out. I'm not really sure what's going on here. Who are you trying to fool? Are you trying to fool me, buddy? Because you're not. Long is clear. Why are you still checking all your corners when sheep already ran through? Even when Puffin is... He knows Puffin's last one alive on B-Ramp. And he still snuck into check pit. What is going on? He's trying to fool everybody. But he's not fooling me, boys. Alrighty. There's another shot through mid doors. Fails a pre-fire miserably. Um, yeah, but you gotta you gotta calm down. Because if you're trying to fool me by checking all of your angles uh, and even acting like you're not checking some angles where that you should be, doesn't look very good for you in this case. Alright. Got caught out there, which is super strange. Super strange, boys. What is he trying to do there? Did he do that on purpose? Let me know in the comment section below because I am 100% convinced that this guy has vision assistance. Uh, I mean, he's he's hitting consistent shots that he's not really supposed to be. He's pre-firing a lot of angles and there were many times where he's got the headshots by simply just lining up the angle and pre-firing as soon as the guy was about to come around the corner. So that's definitely evident beyond a reasonable doubt on vision assistance. Now, however, with that said, aim assistance seemed a little bit wonky there. There were plenty of times where his aim was just going all over the place. And there were plenty of times where he was able to control his aim. Still wasn't able to land a headshot. And sometimes there was multiple times where he did land a headshot, which looked like he had aim assistance. But either way, it's still not enough evidence to say this guy has 100% aim assistance. But I am 100% convinced that this guy has vision assist. Insufficient evidence for aim assistance. Evident beyond a reasonable doubt for vision assistance. Now, obviously, for other external assistance, we didn't see any of that sort. He wasn't speed hacking. He wasn't automating his jump scripts, upside down views, whatever. So insufficient evidence for that. And of course, griefing is also insufficient evidence. Hope you guys agree with my choices of convicting this guy as a vision assistance hacker. Um, if you guys have your own opinions, obviously leave them in the comment section below. I hope to see you guys tomorrow at my stream. Of course, I will be streaming at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So you guys want to convert that. Uh, if you guys want to win a brand new knife, then that's going to be the stream to look out for. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. My name has been Long Barrel, and remember, be water, my friends.